All right, so my buddy Joe is gonna be here to pick me up soon. We are going to go targeting sea bass, white sea bass, aboard the Pacific Dawn out of Ventura Sport Fishing. I myself have never fished for white sea bass before. This is gonna be my first time. I've caught some. Uh, one, my first white sea bass ever was literally like four inches. And then I've caught one that was like maybe 11. Both of those were on homemade lures, so that's pretty cool. And then the biggest one I've ever caught was like maybe 15 to 17 inches. I mean, they're white sea bass, but they don't count. In my head, I just, I haven't caught a white sea bass yet. That's just how I feel. Again, I've never done this before, so I had to talk to the landing and talk to the, the local tackle shop and see what they would recommend. And I'm going to go through and show you guys what they recommend. Recommend. First off, they recommend I bring some squid jigs just because we might be making bait out there. So I got the squid jigs along with a ahi squid jig as well, the glow ahi squid jig. Might have to be using those out there if we have to be making bait. They also recommend that I bring 4 aught and 5 aught hooks. Uh, when I talked to the landing, they were recommending that I use the, the ahi twist. So these are the ahi twist hooks. I got 4 aught and I got 5 aught. Uh, this is the last one that I have in my 5 aught, so I'm going to have to go buy some more. Going to be bringing my scale, just in case I actually end up catching one. And then along with that, I'll be having my 2 aught hooks as well. 2 aught and 1 aught hooks. Just in case we have anchovies and sardines, um, 2 aught and 1 aught hooks might be ideal as well. Even saying maybe 6 aught hooks, just in case the squid is a little bit bigger, but those, those bigger hooks are mainly for the whole squid. Inside here, got 25 pound test line and 40 pound line. And then I'm also bringing 30 pound floral and also 40 pound floral. That's gonna be my calico box because I know we're going to the island. So if we get limits pretty fast, then I got all these plastics to throw out too. Lingcod box just in case. And this is mainly what I'll be using for the whole day. Uh, most of this is from Half Price Fishing. So I got some 8 ounce, 6 ounce. Uh, lighter ones four and threes just in case and a bunch of slider weights for the most part We'll be using like eight ounce dropper loops. So I'll be using these eight ounces most likely uh, 10 ounces just in case and uh, there's also a possibility that we'll be using little slider rigs just in case uh, And you really need the squid to be flown with a current. That's when I'll be using the fluorocarbon I'll use like 30 pound or 40 pound fluorocarbon use the two ounce slider weight and uh, Aki Twist. And then on top of that, just in case, I always want to be prepared, so I got one steel bait, surface iron, uh, and my stick bait, and then I also got a squish jig. I have a lot of faith in the Pacific Dawn. They're a boat that transfers from San Diego landings and Ventura landings. They go back and forth, so Pacific Dawn really knows how to track fish, so if we get our limits pretty soon, pretty early in the day, Maybe he'll look around and we might find some surface fish, so that's why I got the surface baits. But for the most part, that's all I got. And uh, again, this is my first time doing it, so hopefully we produce fish. And the water has been really, really rough lately, like really rough. I've already tried to get on two of these trips and both of those trips got canceled. So this is the first opening that they haven't called me and canceled yet, so hopefully the weather's a little bit better to where we are able to get out there. It's an overnight trip, so I'm assuming we're going to the Outer Islands, but I'm not 100% sure. Maybe we need the overnight to look for the fish a little bit longer, or maybe we need the overnight to look for bait. But I don't know. I don't know exactly where the bite's at. Hopefully we get on them tomorrow. I'm gonna throw all this back in my bag, and I'll see you guys on the boat. Drinking on them. Well, if you are released, white fish, white fish. No, kudas don't. Kudas don't do that. It's pulling, yeah. Coming up the line there, fellas. Coming up the line. 
On the inside. Get him. Come on out, guys. Can we see something? 30 pound, right? 40 pound. 40 pound. Tighten up a little bit. sea bass. Joe is here to uh, experience yeah, he it with me. Oh! Howdy! Alright, there it is. Let's line up. Thank you. Get him! Get him! David, 16. Good work, man. Good job. As soon as I felt your line, I was like, I'm in free school. Yeah. Good. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that. Fuck yeah. Congrats, dude. Thank you. Woohoo! That's it, bro. That's all you. Pretty soon it's gonna be all right, guys. We have to call it, guys. <laughs> we wasted all our time. <laughs> Not wasted, but uh, yeah, that's the right thing. Yeah, it is. At first, I was gaining on it too easy. I was like, this is a cuda, and then all of a sudden, it starts Start taking. I was like, no, it's the right kind. He woke up. <laughs> is it? Yeah. There he is. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. Good job, son. Yeah. Heck yeah. Thanks, dog. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, yeah, dude. Good job, man. Good job. On the slider. On the slider. 
Yeah, on Joe. The slider? Yeah, two ounce slider. Two ounce slider? Jesus Christ. Yeah, Sean, get it. Thank you. It's a nice one. Wow. There you go. That's Oh yeah, Sean. Yeah. The slam cheek, yeah. baby. Yeah. Stuck out the sea bass fishing for as long as possible. Now we're just ending the day with a few rockfish drops. Fill the sacks for everyone else and uh, then we'll be heading home. So, it's a pretty good day. Captain put us on the fish. Now we're just putting extra meat in the bag. back home about to test out some sea bass for the first time we're not going to show you the whole recipe right now because we've never experienced with sea bass so we're gonna try out a few things and after we find out which one we like which recipes we like we'll definitely do a video specifically on that but right now we're gonna test out what are we gonna test out today uh today we're about to test out some blackened sea bass but let me correct that it's actually bacon blackened sea bass burgers. burgers that's what we're about to try out blackened bacon sea bass burgers guys you all know my dad likes to get creative and this one's going to be another creative one we heard that blackened sea bass is the way to go for uh, for white sea bass so we also wanted to try out burgers so we figured we put the two together give it a shot and you can't go wrong with adding bacon so we're going to go ahead and get this done uh, give it a taste test and we'll let you guys know how it tastes. It's all made up. We're gonna give it a quick taste test. We got uh, some Sculpin beers to celebrate the first white sea bass ever caught. Super stoked. And uh, here goes the first bite ever for either one of us of white sea bass. He got his with avocado on it. I got some avocado, but I'm going to wait and try it without it first. Um, these are blackened white sea bass bacon burgers. Can't forget the bacon. Bacon's making it good. I made some ranch coleslaw here as well, too. Um, but, I mean, that just looks precious right there enough, and I just want to get in there and attack. So we'll try that on the next time. Cheers. Cheers. Look how juicy that is. It's dripping. It's dripping. Nice juicy burger. Wow. So good. You see what we did was medium rare. So it's about a minute and a half to two minutes on each side. We did not cook it all the way through because we also were told that this is pretty good to eat sashimi style. So we figured if that's the case, medium rare, kind of like we did with our tuna burgers. And that was a great, great tip right there. I'm glad we did it that way. You can taste all the flavors. It's really good. It's official. We're going to be having a uh, white sea bass burgers catch and cook here to come very, very soon. This is absolutely delicious. We didn't film this, so we're going to be making them all over again. Totally fine with that. This is really good. Would you prefer this over Yellowtail and Bluefin burgers, or where would you place this one? Oh, man. I probably would still go tuna burgers. Tuna. Sea bass and then yellowtail. It was really good. Yeah, this is really good. I, I would definitely place this above yellowtail as well, but this is really, really good. I'm glad we decided to do this for the first sea bass cook ever, but this is this is amazing. Once again, cheers again. You guys gotta try it. Stand by for the next video. Gotta try it. As always, give this video a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. That's right, like and subscribe, you motherfuckers. Stay tuned for more great videos here to come soon. And I will see you all next time. Jerk, 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 jerk.